Hospitals throughout South Carolina agree. We're going to have to grow our own workforce if we're going to keep our hospitals staffed in the 21st century. The best way to do this is to recruit young people while they're still in middle school and high school. Many hospitals use shadowing or mentoring programs that bring kids into their facilities. While this is very effective, we need more tools. So how can we get more young people into hospitals and interested in healthcare careers? By going virtual. This spring, the South Carolina Hospital Association, with help from Self Regional Healthcare, the South Carolina Department of Education, and the Fullerton Foundation, initiated a pilot program called the VSI Project, short for Virtual Surgery Insider, that allowed two groups of high school students from two separate areas of the state to participate in an open heart surgery via a live video feed. Not only were the students able to see exactly what happened during surgery, they were able to talk to the cardiac thoracic surgeon, Dr. Claudio Goreski, and ask questions throughout the procedure. Dr. Goreski was more than happy to comply. What steps do you take to reach the chest cavity, or to enter the chest cavity? You need to divide the breastbone into the midline. Well, watching the virtual surgery was quite an experience. Um, I felt that it was very informative. Um, I went in there not knowing anything about open heart surgery and left with a much broader knowledge base. Um, I felt that Dr. G was a wonderful surgeon to pick to do this because he really wanted to help us. He really wanted us to understand the aspects of his work and um, I felt that he was very effective in that. It just, just let me know exactly what the surgeon goes through because I always wonder what they go through and to see that he's calm and collecting, he's just, well I have to do this and I have to get through it. So it let me understand what he actually goes through. So it was like I was in his shoes. As far as from the surgery, this is something that I couldn't bring here into the classroom, just me. And at uh, the hospital with that we do clinicals, they're not gonna have that opportunity to see something as impressive as an open heart surgery. They may get to see a hernia or some scopes, but not anything like an open heart surgery. And so that gives them an opportunity to just see something that is out of the ordinary for them. I really enjoyed it because he was able to answer our questions and I think he was pretty good with the answers. He didn't go around the questions, he gave us what we wanted to hear. I didn't realize that there were so many people involved in the surgery. There were seven or eight people that are constantly in there and everybody has their job to do and if somebody doesn't do their job then that could be somebody's life. Everybody's job is important. But that was only part of the VSI project. A week before the surgery, these same students watched a videotape produced by SCHA with help from Self Regional Healthcare that introduced them to each member of the open heart surgery team. They heard firsthand why these folks chose their careers, and they learned about the challenges and rewards of each, as well as the educational requirements. Finally, they saw just how accessible healthcare careers are. This video and the virtual surgery made a big impression on the students and their teachers. Before going into a health profession, you need to know what you're getting yourself into, and by watching these live surgeries, you get a better understanding of what you're going to be doing, what your job is going to be. Because some people go into these jobs and they don't have any idea what they're getting into, but if you can watch the tape or watch the surgery, then you'll have a better understanding. You're not just um, listening to someone describe the surgery and have to try to picture it for yourself. Your, um, their description is coupled with the surgery itself. So it's much more easier to understand where they're coming from. And he also described um, the other people who are in the room, their specific job duties. And you really see how they function as a team and um, how their communication is very vital to a successful surgery. Because like he said, when he said that he was not in there for the money, but because he wanted to be useful kind of to other people, that's just my same idea. And um, I even got a little bit more encouraged. In the books, they show, they can show a heart, but they, it can never be compared to what I just saw today. Um, you know, you can't see a beating heart in a book, and you can't ask a surgeon what he feels about it, or how does he go make it day to day. 
um, as he proceeds with his surgery, you can't do that in the book. The books just has tells you the information, but this is real life, and that was the best experience I could get. Keeping South Carolina's hospitals staffed is a top priority for all of us. If we're going to get young people to consider careers in healthcare, we must continue to bridge the gap between textbooks and the real world through the VSI project. SCHA's plan is to continue the project in the fall of 2004, concentrating on the best way to engage more schools. This will include suggestions on technology and lesson plans, so schools can get the necessary funding to participate. SCHA also hopes to get more hospitals involved in offering virtual surgeries at their facilities. There are a lot of times where students are not going to be able to go into a surgery like this because when things go wrong, a lot of times the stress is um, heightened and the students would maybe add to that from being in there and they're not able to give them the feedback that they would need to tell them what was going on at, the, at that time. And from the standpoint of us being in a rural area, our students would not have this opportunity. They are going to learn a lot from being able to see things and being exposed to things that they don't have the opportunity to in our area. Innovative programs like the Virtual Surgery Project make the connection between high school students, hospitals, and healthcare careers. It's real, it's live. And as you heard the students say earlier, it succeeds in getting their attention. With your support, SCHA will continue to use virtual experiences to bring kids into hospitals and ultimately into healthcare careers.